Let's see how easy it is to create an embroidery file from an image file using Wilcom Deco Studio E2. Firstly, let's start a new project. We're going to base our design on a product type, i.e. material type. By making a selection here, the software automatically adjusts values such as density, underlay and pull compensation to suit the given fabric. Next, we choose the machine format that we require. Now we need to find the image file, in this case from the hard drive. The software now opens Coral 15, which is the graphics mode of Deco Studio E2. It will automatically bring up the import window to find our graphic file, in this case a simple JPEG. We can now scale the design as we place it onto the graphic window. To make accurate sizing adjustments, we can set a specific height or width and also lock the ratio so the width is proportional to the height. The next stage is turning the JPEG into a usable vector image using the trace bitmap function in Coral 15. In the trace window, we see the original JPEG image on the top and the vector result in the bottom window. Now we have clean vector artwork, we can use the convert button to turn the vectors into embroidery. We now have a vector-based embroidery file which we can manipulate as we require. For example, we can reorder stitch sequencing. We can edit the outline shape of the embroidery should we need to. We can edit the inclination of stitches with a few mouse clicks. If you'd like to simulate how the design will sew out on screen, there is a slow redraw facility which lets you play through the stitches as they would sew on your embroidery machine. When you're happy with your design, it's time to save it. Wilcom can export to all the leading brands of commercial and home embroidery machines. Thank you for watching. For more information, please visit embroiderytraining.co.uk.